Haters talking, but I don't even hear them. <laughs> yeah, man. Yo guys, it's going on Toby here, or Toby Jizzle, bringing you a review of Team of the Season Reve. Now if you guys haven't already seen the video, I'm going to leave a link in the description. Um, my brother did get him in a pack opening and he did have the footage recorded and allowed me to upload it. And he went on further to say I could um, use him to do a review for you guys. So I played a couple of games against my brother and also a couple of games online. And I even entered a Gold Cup competition just to use him and like see how he performed in those fixtures. And as you can see, first of all, he fits straight into my 4-2-3-1 formation here. This is the team which I played him in. And I think he really does complement Dede. Now I know this isn't a squad builder, but the way in which he fitted in with my defenders was just phenomenal in the sense that I didn't tend to concede many goals playing online and certainly on Ultimate Team that's something that's usually a huge problem for me. I do concede a lot of sloppy unnecessary goals. However with the inclusion of Reve in this team that definitely was not the case and it was really weird because you couldn't tell that he was a team of the season player just playing with him but it just felt like he added a lot more stability to the team and my formation did feel a lot more solid with him in the side. Now taking a look at his in-game stats, we can see that he plays both the centre-back and the centre-defensive midfield position. I did only test him out in the centre-back role, um, but I guess you guys can try him in the centre-defensive midfield role if you want to. And you can see his attacking work rate is medium, whereas his defensive work rate is high. And it seems like there's quite a balance with these two work rates. Um, in the sense that he was, he always um, seemed to be in the right position, especially when other defenders around him were making mistakes. Um, he was there to kind of clean up. Here's the first example. A bit of a mix-up between those two defenders there, but Reve is there to pick up the pieces and deal with the chance in the most composed way possible. Once more, getting himself in the right position here to make a fantastic block. And again, making a fantastic tackle right after the initial block from the first defender. And in all the games he played in, he just seemed to be in the right position to deal with the attack and play. Now taking a look at his physical attributes, his acceleration, agility, balance and jumping are quite poor and although he's a fast defender with 75 sprint speed, if he was in a situation where he had to react quickly and race an attacker to the ball he'd most likely lose out and that's where his positioning really helps him out because he doesn't tend to end up in those sort of situations. But his strength is by far the standout attribute here and it's something that he uses to sort of counteract um, the poor jumping stats that he has because he uses his strength to kind of push the defenders or whoever he's competing with, push the opposition players out of the way in order to win those headers and you can see some examples of that here first really strong in the tackle but here getting in front of the defender with strength to win the header and get a shot off on target this time um, Guillaume making a save there and Reve getting back pushing the attacker out of the way and winning the header before dealing with the situation and his strength shows in the sense that when he goes into the tackle he's not one of those defenders that always ends up going to ground rather his opponent ends up on the ground here this time muscling the attacker off the board before sliding away to deal with that situation now taking a look at his mental attributes, his aggression is extremely high, 90 rated, which is probably the reason he's so ferocious in the tackle, and you guys are going to see that a little bit later in this review, but what I was really impressed with was his interceptions. Now this guy was making interceptions left, right and centre, and I've only picked three to show you guys, but two of them were extremely vital. Here's the first one, just intercepting the little pass to the right there before dealing with the situation in a composed manner there, dropping the defender with a little bit of skill. These were my three favourite scenarios, I think this was my favourite one here, just nipping there to the ball just before the the attacker could get to the bicycle kick and one more here this time intercepting the little pass and flicking it away from the defender to deal with the situation in a really composed manner and he tended to show composure throughout all the games that he played and you're going to see a few more examples of that in this review later on but before we get there taking a look at his skill attributes we can see that his free kick accuracy heading accuracy and a marking were this main standout attributes here on this first page and I really didn't get to test out his free kicks because the style of his free kicks are a bit different to what I was used to but hopefully you guys can try that out and see that it's actually quite good but taking a look at the rest of his skill attributes you can see that his penalties and shot power are also quite high and consistent with that of his free kicks so definitely a guy to be using on set pieces really disappointed that I couldn't use him on more but as you can see there I did manage to score a penalty with him and also this fantastic long shot here um, unfortunately saved by the goalkeeper on that occasion now the next two attributes are the last but definitely not the least important his slide tackling and standing tackling at 80 and 93 respectively and this guy was so consistent with the tackles throughout all the games I've played I've never seen a defender so consistent with tackling um, very strong in the tackle as I have mentioned before his high aggression was most probably a contributing factor to this but um, yeah winning the ball in pretty much all of his tackles I think he averaged like five out of six tackles every game and um, he was getting like an average rating about between 8 and 9 in all the games that he played and um, it, I guess it just told in the scoreline how well he was doing alongside Dede 
with regards to the tackles because in the four games I played in the Gold Cup um, we only conceded three goals which for me is unheard of and his defensive ability seemed to reassure the team because I did manage to score um, I think 22 goals winning 7-1, 3-1 and 7-0 in the build up to the final before winning that game 5-1 as well so um, definitely kind of reinforces the whole team having Reve in that um, position at centre back. Now at the time of me creating this video um, the cheapest Reve on the market team of the season that is was going for about 51,000 coins that is on Xbox only if any of you guys play PS3 feel free to look up the price and it'll be really nice if you could put that in the comments and maybe I could add that to the description of this video but on the whole I'd say he's a really solid centre back definitely deserving that um, 50,000 coin price tag on his head his main weaknesses are his jumping which is made up for by his um, strength and his agility which is also made up for by his really good positioning off the ball. So if you were worried about those two factors, then there's probably no need. Um, definitely a player worth looking at in my eyes, so feel free to go out and buy him. Hope you guys have enjoyed this review. If you have, feel free to leave a like. If you didn't hit the dislike button, but if you've enjoyed the video and you think you would enjoy the rest of the content on my channel, feel free to subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys in a bizzle. Peace.